Hello, Ducks hockey fans in Orange County, California, USA, Finland, Canada, and all over the world. Happy Monday, everybody. It's been days and weeks since we have heard anything about the last remaining two Anaheim Ducks restricted free agents. It's been days and weeks turning into two months now. The only two restricted free agents that have not signed with our Anaheim Ducks, the Z-Man Trevor Zigris and Jamie Drysdale. Since June 30th, 2023, there has been no news except comments and speculations and hearsay about whether or not the Z-Man Trevor Zigris and Jamie Drysdale will sign on the dotted line before the Ducks training camp, a.k.a. Gathering of the Ducks, will begin. Like most of you, and like all Ducks fans, on Ducks message board, and on social media, and everywhere from the city of Anaheim to here in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada, and all over, we are wondering, waiting, hoping for any sort of news. There has been hearsay on what the contract terms of the deal would be in the Ducks qualifying offer to Zegras and Drivesdale. From bridge deals to seven year contracts all the way up to the full max of eight years. Who knows? Personally, for me, I hope both will sign, I especially Zigaris. We know that these two players are important to the Ducks cause and to the revival and rebuilding of the Anaheim Ducks themselves. Chances are we should not panic, but I cannot blame some of you for being at times impatient, but it's understandable. I wonder whether or not we see or hear the news of both of the last remaining Ducks restricted free agents signed on the dotted line for the Anaheim Ducks, especially when our team has been making some trades, some free agent signings to ensure that our team will be ready to not to make the same mistakes all over again. Trading for Luber Bush. Sorry if I cannot pronounce the name, but a Russian defenseman from Buffalo. And making the recent signings in the past previous days and weeks. I can honestly have a feeling, you can call it a hunch, that Zigaris and Drysdale. Once they arrive back to the West Coast, we'll sign on a dotted line. Whether it would be a week from now, a day from now, who knows? I don't like to speculate. I always wonder and ponder whether or not these two would be ready to hit the ground running by signing on the dotted line for, for their qualifying offers ASAP just to get things going but who am I to kid not gonna lie to most of you I love what the Anaheim Ducks are doing with the recent trades the free agent signings signings of their draft prospects what it all boils down to is what would this team look like once the puck drop for the Ducks 30th anniversary in October. I just can't wait. And I know most of you are looking forward to it. That is all I have to say right now. Till then, I'll see you all soon. Go Ducks!